Day Reserve Club Forest. You take a bus from the parking lot up and now we're going to head inside to pay and then we'll start exploring and see what we can see. So a little gift shop over here. The restrooms and this is the park entrance gate. Uh, maybe there's some information here as well. He's making some hand blown glass decorations here. That's very cool. visited again by a hummingbird. <laughs> um, but what I was going to say is most of these cloud forests used to be cattle pastures for the Quakers who inhabited this area long ago, but most of the uh, forest was allowed to grow back in the 70s. And so it is a secondary forest, but some of Santa Elena, I think, was a primary forest, which was why it was even thicker. So we're in the Monteverde Cloud Forest and while it is very popular and very busy, um, I feel like it was better organized than the Santa Elena Cloud Forest, but I liked how mossy and, and like misty the Santa Elena one was. Yeah, it's a was. higher elevation than this one. Yeah. And some people said they were seeing a quetzal. a quetzal back there, but we couldn't find it. It was hidden in the trees. Like even the guys were like, yeah, we can't see it yeah, anymore. One of them said that it flew away. So. Yeah. Well, we'll check again. Um, no monkeys, but maybe this also isn't the best time of year. Just hanging out on the 
the hanging bridge here. But, well, let's take a look over the edge. Oh yeah, maybe that's what he was talking about when he was like, do a night walk if you want to try to see sloths. But maybe he was pointing out the Cecropia to say like that is one of the things they like to eat. miles maybe 20 miles and about 5,500 feet below us kind of cool windy on this side. <laughs> and this is the Continental Divide. And this is kind of the view from our Airbnb even. You can see the bay out there. So when your stuff blows off, it comes right here and fell under there and so this is where Luke climbed over to retrieve his hat and the walking stick. <laughs> nice work.
So this was the Agua Dulce uh, with milk, con leche. It is the sugar cane drink. Um, it's hot. So I wasn't expecting that. Look at, of course, delicious bottle. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's delicious. I can't even describe it to you. Would you call that like a caramely hot chocolate? Yeah. It's really good. It's kind of like dulce de leche, but hot. Caramely. It's really good. So we're bird watching and we're eating. Broken. Oh, just flip. Oh man, what a pretty bird. Okay, so um, all Luke wanted to find were monkeys, and we read that there were monkeys in Monteverde, but we weren't seeing any. Um, not even all the birds are here right now because it's January, so the like fruit trees, like the avocado trees, aren't totally ripe yet. So it's harder to find the animals that are consistently at these fruit trees because it's not quite season yet. But we just saw a orange-bellied trogon. Yeah. I think it's very similar to a quetzal at the restaurant at Monteverde Cloud Forest Preserve. And then driving along the road between the preserve and where you park, we just saw two monkeys. Two we... white-faced capuchins. And we saw them first on the shuttle bus between the parking lot and the preserve. And so we tried to record it. I'll put that clip in here for my phone. But then we just came back. We walked back yeah. up the road and Luke got some really good footage of them with this camera so i will include that footage next I'm so so excited to see him finally highly recommend yes. looking for the wildlife at the restaurants at the roads and the places in between not just in the parks because i think sometimes the animals are aware that there's tons of people in the parks and so they migrate out a little bit into the along the, the fincas yeah the farms so just always keep your eyes open and sometimes walk instead of ride because you never know what you're gonna see. Yeah. And eat at the eat outside at the restaurants. Bromelia, sit down. There's a little monkey. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Oh nice. Nice. Oh wow. Yes. Cool. Oh yeah, I want again. Hi sweetie. Our last Christmas. Yep, sure is. Okay, what were your favorite things, Luke, from this trip? 
birds. The doing the birding tour yep. at Curry Concha. And then the night tour. Yep, doing a night tour. Night Ours was walk. at El Refugio. I don't know where that really is, but I'm sure doing any night tour is gonna be worth it because you're gonna see stuff you wouldn't normally see. And then today the forest about reserve. Forest reserve. And that was pretty cool. We saw a uh, a collared uh, trogan. Trogan. Yep. It's like it's almost the yeah. same as a pencil. Yeah. yeah. They look very similar. Their colors are just different. Um, and we saw monkeys there. But I, but I also really liked the Santa Elena um, cloud forest because it was more foggy, more cloudy, and just yeah, it was pretty cool. very mossy like the whole rainforest in Washington. But this view every night, this Airbnb is also definitely on the yeah highlights. And of course, the food we always the food. love the so Costa Rican food, the fruit and the everything is and just the, all the chicken. Is it's really way more good. flavorful than the same foods in the United States we think. And all very natural as well. So good night to our final night here this year in Costa Rica. Pura Vida! And make sure to hit subscribe so you can catch all of the Costa Rica vlogs in this playlist and future adventures to come. Spoiler alert, we're going to the ABC Island soon!